What's up, guys? This is Webby, back again for a special podcast for you. This podcast, we're going to be going over and discussing my top five matches I would like to see at WrestleMania 34. Top five matches that I think we all would like to see at WrestleMania 34. It's coming up just around the corner. WrestleMania season is just around the corner. The road to WrestleMania is just around the corner. So I think we all are gathering our thoughts and and, and our matches together on what we want to see. And this is what's making our top, my top five. First, I'd like to thank everybody for coming into the podcast. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for all notifications. Follow me on Facebook at 2007Webby. Much appreciated because a lot of hard work does go into this channel to make it what it is for you wrestling fans. Now, top five matches. I know I would want to see at WrestleMania 34, and I'm sure some of you out there would be in agreement with me. First, Finn Balor versus Awesome The Miz. Some of you might say, what? Finn Balor versus The Miz? That doesn't sound too intriguing. But just think. Finn Balor and the Bauer Club, The Miz and The Miz Taraj. What if The Miz captures the Intercontinental Championship away from Roman Reigns? Now, I understand that The Miz hasn't done much with the Intercontinental Championship on Monday Night Raw since he came over to Monday Night Raw. He's pretty much just been doing Miz TV talk show host, pretty much. However, have the Miz hold that championship to WrestleMania. Miz and Miz Taraj get into a rivalry with the Bauer Club, and then have Finn Bauer have an awesome matchup with the Miz and capture the Intercontinental Championship, and then have Finn Bauer defend that championship like Bret Hart, like Mr. Perfect, like so many others did continuously week after week after week after month after month. So many champions in the past would continuously defend that title and hold it proudly the WWE would make it look that way. The Miz on Monday Night Raw, they just kind of make it look secondary. If they would take the championship and put it on somebody awesome, it would be great. And I think this would be the perfect rivalry for it. Coming in at number four, Braun Strowman versus Samoa Joe. This matchup. Two big, huge guys. I understand that. But, Braun Strowman, very agile, very fast for his size. Absolutely awesome, tearing through everybody. Samoa Joe, looking great at the top of his game right now. Can you imagine the build to this matchup? Samoa Joe, absolutely awesome on the mic. And both of the guys tearing through the locker room, trying to get to to each other. Fantastic stuff. I mean, just look at what Samoa Joe did with Brock Lesnar. And that was with Brock Lesnar just sitting in a uh, backstage area. Can you imagine if if Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe... Are both trying to get each other on the build to WrestleMania? That'd be fantastic. And then at WrestleMania, when they face off, would be an 
epic encounter. Coming in at number three, Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose. Now I know some of you are thinking, well, this is a, a, a shoe-in if Dean Ambrose comes back. Look, it's time for Dean Ambrose to turn heel. It's time for him to get a new change, new look. If he doesn't come back, we're going to see Seth Rollins versus uh, this tag team partner right now, Jason Jordan. But if Dean Ambrose would come back and turn heel on his brothers in the shield to break them up completely, what tremendous action that would be. And Dean Ambrose is the perfect person to do that, character to do that. And just think back to the matches that they had before and the rivalry they had before. Absolutely fantastic action between Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. And I would love to see it again. What better place than WrestleMania? Coming in at number two for the WWE Championship, Vince McMahon, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. A match that has been rumored for quite some time, but then uh, on the other hand, a match that has been flip flopped around because of John Cena versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. So John Cena can break Ric Flair's record. Forget about that. AJ versus Nakamura. As, as great of a match as everybody has said the New Japan Pro Wrestling match that they had was I can't think of a better matchup for the WWE Championship would be on top of that can you just imagine a bigger rub for Shinsuke Nakamura for all his hard work for putting over Jinder Mahal for the Baron Corbin rivalry, all of that. To have a match with AJ Styles, WrestleMania 34, the best matchup that you could possibly have WWE is sitting right there in your fingertips. Pull the trigger and get it done. And coming in at number one, a match that's been rumored for years now, a match that the fans have been wanting for years now, a match that should have been done when the streak was intact, The Undertaker versus John Cena. This matchup needs to happen now, it needs to get done now. It doesn't need to wait any longer. Undertaker's going to have another match. Undertaker's going to have his last ride match. Get it done and out of the way. After what we saw at WrestleMania 33, with his hat and his gloves and his coat taken off and laid in the center of the ring, there's only two scenarios that really make the most sense for us. John Cena versus The Undertaker or The Undertaker coming out and wanting revenge on Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns and the place where the streak died. And honestly, this is a lot more intriguing than him getting revenge on the only two people that ever beat him. At WrestleMania. Taker versus Cena. What better match could you possibly have for WrestleMania at the Superdome in New Orleans? 
that's my top five picks. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe amongst everything else that I said at the beginning of the video. And until I see you again, this is Webby, and I will catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.